bags packed and we're off on holiday. Yay! Well, not quite. Going to Nigeria can never really be a holiday for me. This is because I was born and raised there. Yes, that's me. I never used to smile in pictures. That's me on the left again. The wedding was the last time we saw most of my family and we were hoping to continue the party from where we left off. But we'll soon find out that this wasn't the case on this trip. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, kiss kiss. <laughs> Niger, here we come. Our first stop was my village, Ala London, in Anambra State. There Craig got a tour of the land for my father. He got to meet my auntie's goats. Man! And also got to hold a live chicken for the first time. Got to meet my extended family. Here's everyone sat outside eating garden egg and drinking lots and lots of malt. Craig does love his malt a little too much. Yep. On a serious note, this is me sat on the balcony of our bedroom in our house and this is the place where I would come to at least once a year to spend Christmas. I have a love-hate relationship with Nigeria. I loved it because of my family and I loathed it because I felt like nothing worked. I thought it would be fair to take Craig back to my roots after all he's never been to Nigeria and I thought that would be a good place to start. There he heard the sound of rain for the very first time fall on beautiful orange trees in our back garden. I always used to feel lost um, living in Nigeria. I felt like I never really fitted in with anything or anyone, to be honest with you. And just like this empty market on a Sunday morning, my soul was almost empty. And I felt like I had to find myself and that journey was what led me to pack up my bags one day and say goodbye and leave. Not knowing what the future holds for me. But still moving on and hoping for the best. That's all we can hope for from life, you know. Just taking action and moving on and hoping that something great comes out of everything. My parents have always been very supportive of me and the decisions that I've made, which in a way has kept me going. And it was nice to be reminded about all the beautiful memories that I used to have while growing up. And it turns out <laughs> that I challenged myself to revisit the things I once used to hate. And now, <laughs> I know where I stand. And the road has taken me to Abuja. This is our house. But growing up, <laughs> it didn't look like this. This was how I left it. Yeah, that's what stood in front of the old house. And um, the holiday turned out to be more or less like a babysitting holiday. These are my sister's kids. Yep, the little boy trying to get into the picture is Asher. He is one big bundle of trouble. <laughs> oh my god. Let's move on to Nikki. Nikki is the girl on the right. She is a smarty pants. I love her to bits. She doesn't want to be filmed as you can see from her reaction. <laughs> And this little munchkin here is Andrew. This boy, <laughs> look at his tiny baby muscles. He has 
really glassy eyes is what I say. He is always ready to cry. Oh, hi. That's me saying hi. <laughs> um, I got to show Craig around Abuja. This is the zoo and I've never been here before and that is Craig all dressed up matchy matchy with my little brother. Sometimes you just have to go where the monkeys take you in life. I know I said it. Go where the monkeys take you. I feel very happy and grateful at this point in time in life and it opened my eyes to all the things that I neglected while living in Nigeria. I was so happy to be back and do more exploring. It was nice to see it from a different perspective after being away for such a long time. <laughs> That's how life can be sometimes and all you have to do is carry on doing the things you love Spend time with the people you love, cross your fingers and hope that everything will be okay. The knowledge that you are here or wherever you are is where you're meant to be. I challenged myself to revisit the things that I hate and see where I stand. And now I know where I absolutely stand. I love my jury. I will always love it. And no matter how far away I go, it would always be home for me. This is goodbye for now. With love only.